this horrible feeling I'm supposed to be somewhere else. You know where you're meant to be, but you're just not really there somehow. It's like you're chasing your own tail. You missed the turning or took the wrong corner. Like I've lost myself somehow. Oh, wait, there you are. Sorry, do I know you? You're supposed to be in New York right now. I can't be in two places at once. You, you, you have to trust me. Get in. The Wheel of Time fans are waiting for you. They'll know that Moraine doesn't trust anyone. Yeah, how is that? And what does that mean for season two? This isn't a therapy session. Well... Moraine lost her power at the end of season one. So she's feeling uncomfortably human. She can no longer touch the true source. She can't channel the one power. So she still faces the same set of challenges, but this time without fireballs at her fingertips. Perhaps that makes her more relatable. Ha, no one wants Moraine relatable. Fans love her because she's so single-minded. In fact, season two sees her even more stubborn. She pushes away the one person who's dedicated his life to protecting her, Lan. In fact, she pushes away everyone who tries to help her. Is that why you're pushing me away? You don't want me to answer that. You know I can't lie. But the truth in eyes that I speaks is not always the truth you think you hear. How does her ability to twist words affect Moraine and Kyrian? How do you know about Kyrian? Someone told me. True. Moraine goes back to Kyrian in season two, the city she grew up in, a place of stifling customs where everyone plays mind games. I bet Moraine had everyone on their knees. Honestly, I thought they'd find someone a bit more professional for this. I'm sure someone mentioned TV Guide's senior writer. Oh, you mean Damien Holbrook? Oh, he's here, along with the rest of your cast in New York. We're live streaming there right now. And you've learned an important lesson today. You can't do everything on your own. You're starting to freak me out. You're not one of the Forsaken, are you? <laughs> Lord, 